Okay, this short video is just going to show you how to set up a Google Docs te template so that it is ready to run in Autocrat. Right? So what I have here for our example is just a parent-teacher conference notice that I would be sending out. Um, and what you're going to want to do is once you have your letter kind of drafted, think about the parts that you want to be the same for everyone and leave those alone. And then think about the parts that you want to be personalized and you're going to replace those personalized parts with tags. Um, tags in Autocrat is just a word or a phrase that is in double angle brackets. You're going to match each of those tags up with a column in a spreadsheet later, and I'll show you how, you how to do that in another video. So if I wanted to have the date be something that was customized where it would change, maybe from year to year or maybe whatever, instead of writing out August 1st, 2020, I'm going to put angle bracket, angle bracket, date. And then when I go and make my spreadsheet, I'm going to make sure that there's a date column in it so that I can pull that and put it into it to be personalized. So each row on your spreadsheet will end up generating one letter. Okay, so another one I would want to copy out is Little Timmy, right? Not all of my students are Little Timmy. So I'm going to call this one Stu Name. These are not something anyone except you are going to see these tags. So just make it something that's descriptive enough. You remember what you want to put in there. Um, these first things here are not anything that would be different from kid to kid. So I'm going to leave those paragraphs alone. And then down here, because it's little Timmy, I'm going to want to put in the same tag so that I can pull it from the same column. Um, obviously the kids grades are going to be personalized. So I'll replace that. One thing here, uh, zero missing assignments. There's a couple of ways you could do this um, because of the pluralization issue. I think I'm going to go with the easy way and then just put missing for the number. And then here I'm going to put the slightly less personal parentheses around the S in assignments. Um, you could have a cell in your spreadsheet that says number missing and then the words missing assignment or assignments and have that plugged in but that's not something I'm going to do here. Um, I've noticed is going to be where I put in a personalized comment to the student so I'm just going to call that noticed um, and then this will be an extra comment. You'll notice sometimes I capitalize things, sometimes I don't. It really doesn't matter. It just needs to be something that's descriptive enough that you'll be able to say, okay, I'm going to put this in here. Um, I have my spreadsheet set up. Right now I don't have any information in it. The only thing that um, I want to be really careful about that I forgot to just show you is um, pronouns, right? I don't want to have it be he if instead of talking to little, little Timmy, I'm talking to little Susie's parents. So instead of this, this will be pronoun. Um, that's a possessive pronoun. And I think that's the only time. So maybe I went a little bit overboard on the pronouns in there. And I just need one. So it would be he, she, they, whatever your student goes by that goes in that first spot there. Um, that's something you definitely want to make sure of and you want to check to run. Um, like I said, I'll show you in another video how to link this spreadsheet up so that it's actually going to generate things, but that's just how you make your template. You just write what you were going to write and then replace the things you want to personalize with um, tags, which are in those double angle brackets. Um, the rest of this is going to stay the same, so I'm not going to put any comments there. The only place I'm going to have tags is in the opening and then in this paragraph here, which I like because it gives me less of an opportunity to make mistakes and not swap things out. Um, one mistake I do usually make at this point is I get excited and I want to start running Autocrat and so I go to add-ons. Autocrat is only an add-on for Sheets, so you're never going to find it in your Google Docs. Um, so just make sure that you're not doing what I do and panicking and thinking Autocrat has somehow gone away or has been discontinued. It has not. It will be there. And so you are, you are done with your template, it is set up, and you're ready to start running Autocrat.